Hey folks, it's King. Uh, time for a short video here. On this video, I'm only going to show you one record. And, and the reason I'm only going to do one is because it was the first time I had uh, one of my albums autographed by the artist. And, um, and I'm very happy to have it. <laughs> so the album we're talking about is this one right here. It's Eric Johnson's latest album called Up Close. And uh, I went to Eric Johnson's concert on Tuesday night. He played in Sacramento, California, at a little club called Harlow's. And small intimate club, but perfect for uh, an artist that's known to play some bluesy songs, some jazzy songs, some soft rock songs, and just a lot of instrumental guitar. Um, not a bad seat in the house, and it was a great show. It was one of the best shows I've seen in, in, in a little while, so uh, it was a great night. And uh, afterwards, I saw in the merchandise section that they were selling various CDs, books, t-shirts, hats, but I saw this. It's his latest album uh, on, on vinyl, and this is a two-record set. It's pressed on 180-gram vinyl, and it sounds way better than the CD I have. It has a CD version of this as well. It sounds way better. So, and it came pre-signed. Uh, Eric Johnson pre-signs these copies, I guess, and um, they sell them for 20 bucks at the show, which is not bad because on his website uh, they charge something like 23 dollars for it, and an additional you know, four dollars or so for shipping. So. Went to the show and saw it for an even 20, so saved a little money there. And of course you get a great concert by Eric Johnson, so a great deal. So I mean my original plan was just to go there and see a great show and come home. Um, bought this and saw that it was already pre-signed, so that ah, great. I got a record pre-signed by the artist. And I was leaving, I noticed there was a there was a couple of fans that sort of hanging out because it's tour bus was kind of parked up front and I noticed they were just sort of hanging out they say you know if you're patient he'll come out and he'll sign things for you so I thought what the hell I'll give it a shot and so I waited with them and they all, they all turned out to be great fans we all talked music not just Eric Johnson's music but Satriani, uh, Frank Gambale, Vital Information, uh, King Crimson well we, we just talked music 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 and and they were actually stunned to see that someone still collected vinyl. <laughs> uh, so it was it was a nice chat. I mentioned the vinyl community to them. But, uh, these are guys that collect CDs. <laughs> but they, they can appreciate something like a vinyl community. Anyway, we waited around and uh, got to know his road crew. All nice guys. And they said, tell you what, since you guys are such patient, cool guys, we'll tell Eric that he's waiting, f that you guys are out here waiting for him. I'm going to make sure he'll come out and see you guys and uh, sign your stuff. And I thought, oh wow. <laughs> and that was that. So we had to wait about an hour. Or maybe a little bit, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. But as promised, he came out. He was very nice. He came out, talked to us, shook our hands. You know, he just didn't hurt and sign things he took off. I mean, he actually sat and had a conversation with us. A long conversation. Long being like 10, 15 minutes. Talking to all of us. And he signed my album. And this is a gatefold album, and he signed the gatefold. And I'll show you right here. And I was thrilled to death. I got to meet him. I told him I had this on CD. And I told him I had it on CD, loved it. There's a picture of Eric Johnson right there. I told him I had this on CD, loved it, and he thanked me for listening to his music and coming to the show. And put Gil, many thanks, Eric Johnson. And his signature here. Well, that's his drummer. His drummer's name is uh, Wayne Salzman II. <laughs> and this guy gave an awesome drum solo. So that's it. Oops, wrong way. So that's it, you know, I... And, um... It was the end of a great evening. You know, I went and saw one of my favorite performers throw an amazing show. And in the end, I got to meet him, got to shake his hand, got to talk to him for a bit. And then he, he personally signed my copy of his latest record on 180 gram vinyl. <laughs> um, so this is the first time I ever 
owned an album that was actually signed, well, I guess you could say technically signed twice by the artist. And I was there to watch him, and he personalized it, so it was great. So this will be a huge addition to the vinyl collection. And uh, I just came home, thrilled to death. I've been listening to this non-stop. Sounds way better than the CD, like I said. Uh, this is Eric Johnson in the background. This was on a different album. This song is called uh, When the Sun Meets the Sky. And he also played that in Sacramento the night I saw him. And he did some really long, beautiful extended guitar solo that just got a standing ovation throughout the house. It was, it was real emotional. And one of the best shows, like I said, I've been to in a while. All right, well, that's going to do it. A little short video on my first autograph LP. All right, see you at the next video, folks.